Hi, top ladies and gents, my name is Jace. We're currently doing a bit of an interview with RSGSG. Join me right here is Bray and also, wow, Derry. How are you guys feeling today? Derry, how are you feeling today? Normal. Normal? How does it feel like wearing a different jersey? Then it just feel normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bray, what about you? What about you? How do you feel today? Uh, I feel good. How's media day so far for you? Uh, <laughs> Uh, as usual. As usual. Been, it's quite normal for me because experience, experience. Yeah. Yep. So, okay. So, a bit of a catch up for you guys. Technically, both of them debut in mostly in season three together. RSGSG, uh, directly for Bray. Derry was debuting in SMGSG back then, if I'm not mistaken. Correct, Derry? Correct. Okay. So, a few more questions. Derry, why did you decide to join RSG? I think cause at that point of time, uh, Roy texted me. Okay, so Roy recruited you. Yeah, Roy like asked me whether like am I still playing next season or not. At first, I told him that I'm not playing already. After he just say like they lacking rumor. Mm -hmm. Then after that, uh, he asked me come and trial. After that, from there on, then here I am. Oh. Yeah, I remember you actually went on your Instagram once to announce your retirement. Yeah, actually, I uh already plan to retire and quit already, but then. Uh, like maybe one and a half month, two months later, when I never opened ML already, then Roy suddenly texted me. Mm. Then asked me, yeah, to want to come play back a lot. Then why do you accept Roy's invitation? Actually, I wanted to play with, I wanted to play with Roy, uh, quite long ago already. But it's just that, uh, he joined RSG, oh, then like, uh, there's a, back, back then there was like a high, um, requirement of standard to join RSG. That's right. But then, uh, it's just I wanted to play with him more. Like, I wanted to try play with him. Like, play with Bray also. Mm. Yeah, then after that, like, uh, I see, like, Killaw, uh, they might have shown them, just go and try, oh. try it, then, yeah, more. Why do you think Team Evil is so strong that you always cannot beat him? Them. Be it in SMG, be it in Homeboys. Yeah. Actually, I really don't know why we cannot beat them. Uh, but, I have to admit that uh, their chemistry as five really very strong. Um, maybe that's what um, sets them apart. Maybe they mm. are able to stay in the top three, top four range. Mm. Uh, yeah, their chemistry is really one of a kind. Okay. For the reason why I cannot win them, I really don't know. Uh. <laughs> I really don't know why I cannot win them. Okay, then maybe I'll it's just a curse thing. Uh. No it's way. Then I'll turn it to the person that actually won Team Evil before Bray. Why do you think Team Evil is so strong? You win. You won against them before, but other teams cannot. What is their secret sauce? I think I think it's the fans. Uh. The fans always very loud. Then when you give the players a boost, like when I play, I always hear the fans shouting. But it's also very entertaining, lah. Like I when I I like to fight people because I did hear their mic checks and all. It's very hype. Like I really like powerful the way he play and coach. Coach the team, uh, mm. because he's the captain of the team. I really like how he managed the team. I I heard from the mic chat he was very, uh, how say, his comms was very like concise, precise. Yes, but also energetic. Yeah, very energetic. Commanding. Yeah, so it's like okay. I just like the way he does all this, and his fans also lah. Uh, it's very nice to fight them because of the hype and all. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, can I talk more about your other players? Like, you talk, we talk about CS, talk about Closer. Mm. To a certain extent, even Crow. Crow making a comeback as Evo Smokey, Impunity Rizal, and now he's what? Crow. <laughs> we talk about Crow first, right? How is he really like? Because we never see him play. He was always sub. Mm. I would say he's more on... Uh team fight player in, if you're saying in game because I did see him play I because I usually play with him in rank so mm -hmm. I see quite the potential in him uh, if he manage if he manages to get uh much grooming because mm. uh the way I see him play is he's not really selfish. He's more of like, like if you need help yeah, like if you need help I will help you like he can sacrifice this to help you. Okay. Which is what a uh, teammate really needs her. Mm. So that is why he's uh that is why I 
asked him to join RSG also. RSG SG has always been a very Rome dependent kind of team. Dependent on Lozi, dependent on Lucian QD. Now you're filling the boots. How are you fitting in with the rest of the team? Fitting in is not a problem, uh, because mm. most of the players like uh I actually know them one. Yep. It's not like I'm uh it's not like I don't know any one of them or like I'm uncomfortable with any of them. So I think it's okay. The communication won't have any issues. Mm. Then let me boil that question down to you now. Uh to Bray. Bray. You lost a lot of your teammates. Do you have anything to say to them? Especially when they jump over to Team Flash. You start losing low Z, then you start losing, you know, Bougie to a certain extent as well. Now it's in Homeboys. What, do you have anything to say to them? Uh, they join another team, right? So they will have a new jungler. Mm -hmm. So hopefully their jungler can match my, my skill. Uh. Mm -hmm. Tell them don't miss me too much. <laughs> yeah. Then does your parents support you in MPL? Yeah, like, of when they start? Oh, at the start. At the start, not really, until I uh, like showed them some achievements. Mm. So they started to uh, believe in me, like allow me to play in MPL. Mm. Yeah. When, did they, when did that start? Is it like season 3 when you won and you go yeah. overseas? Yes, I think after season 3 where I went to MSC that ah. period of time. Yeah. And then they started to believe. Mm. Yeah. Derry, on the other hand, for you, I will start with you first. Who are your bottom two teams of MPL Singapore? It's very really radical to answer this question. Uh. Really? Okay. I really think... Uh, so politically correct. Oh. I really think all eight teams currently in this season uh, all... Okay, actually... <laughs> he changed his mind. <laughs> actually, if you look at the roster, mm. uh, you mm -hmm. can actually tell... You can own self roughly gauge who will be in the top four, who will be in the bottom four. Right. But uh I think for me in 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 personal opinion wise, mm -hmm. I really think the top three teams will I asked stay for there. bottom two. There. Okay, okay, so the top three teams so will be stop there. Stop avoiding the question. Okay, so the top three teams will be there. <laughs> okay. But the other five teams, right? We'll just have to do it out. Lor. I'm asking for the bottom two teams there. You stop avoiding the question like avoiding your girlfriend asking the hard questions. I I'm cannot, not your girlfriend. I cannot give you the the two teams that that I feel will be in the bottom two because I also also don't know. Ma. Lies. Just give me two teams. I don't know. I cannot give you if I don't know. Ma. Do you want me to read out all the roster for you? I can read it out for you. RSG, so RSG. <laughs> you, you're voting for yourself to get relegated. Are you trolling? Can I vote for other team? Uh, must be nice, man. Uh. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll skip you for now. Bray, what do you think? Bottom two teams. Wow, but yeah, like, get out, get out. Later, I, I get flimmed. Okay, wait. Bottom two team. Hmm. I mean, there's no right and wrong, right? There's definitely gonna be winners and losers in the tournament. But in your opinion, bottom two teams. Wow, that was quick! <laughs> okay. Let's go number one. Let's go bottom one. Uh, bottom, okay. Mm. Brain name the other one. Sorry? Brain name the other one. Brain name the other one. What's this? Teamwork. <laughs> they always say teamwork makes the dream work, man. Huh? Bro. <laughs> so, I want bottom two teams from each of you. You only give me one, but dairy, dairy. Give me another one if you can. Bray, do you have another? You have bottom two? I think one is the Esco. Esco, yeah. and then one more. Uh, you want to take a look at the qualifier teams as well? Homeboys. Homeboys, your old team. So your answer is Homeboys Exco. and Exco. Bottom two teams. Do you have a reason why? Or is it just a gut feeling? I go in my own feelings. Gut feelings. Okay. Ray, bottom two teams. Exco and... You want to vote for homeboys as well, or do you want to go for someone else? Homeboys are homeboys. <laughs> wow, okay. both of you are. Okay. Wow, both of you are. Don't dare to spice. Okay. okay. So, so both of them decides to be homeboys and ex co. Is there a reason why you go for ex co immediately after I read out the names, Derry? You said gut, gut feeling, right? Honestly, I feel. Hmm, 
Actually, I watched through the qualifiers. Yep. And um, the lower bracket was supposed to be Tally Barbies and Exco fight for the slot, right? Correct. I honestly think that um, the Tally team could have won Exco mm. team to come mm. to NPL instead. So mm. that's why I'm thinking that maybe Exco will sh- struggle mm. and not be able to stay. Mm. in the top 6 range. I agree. Okay. I because see I honestly where. felt that uh, it's just doing qualifiers Tally made a very huge mistake. Mm-hmm. And then like it cost them the game. Mm. Then like there were mistakes here and there. If not, if they were to play to perfection I think they would be the one instead of Exco coming to NPL. Season 6. So you're saying that Exco entered NPL because it's a fluke? Not say it's a fluke, but honestly, if both teams were to play perfectly, perfect and to their fullest potential, mm-hmm. honestly, I think Tally will come out on top. Okay. So technically speaking, you're saying that uh, Exco may not be as ready yet for NPL. Looking at the player roster list wise I think so mm. you will form a qualifier team as well side SG true mm. how was it like to compete in a qualifier team I think to play in qualifiers is very difficult because the first round is a BO1 so anything can go wrong or anything can go Right. In your favor. Mm. So let's say if a very strong team or top team blunder in day one, there goes your chance. Mm. So I honestly feel qualifiers is really see whether uh Is it luck? I think luck is also one of the consider factor mm. because how to say ah, uh, MPL got 10 bands. Mm. Qualifiers only have 6 in total. Mm. So, there are more things open okay. in terms of meta heroes. Okay. So, I really feel mm, must be really good or really strong. Mm. Top 3 players. Derry. Each role? Any? No, no. Irregardless of role. Top 3 players. Any team? Any team. Yourself including as well. Imports or no imports? Imports all included. All included. Or, let me make it easier for you. Past players as well. Ha, huh, past players. Are... Inclusive of past players. All the way from Singapore season 1. Actually, it's just too present here. That's okay. If you have top Don't three. include past. Uh. Present in the current current season. Also can. Okay. Brain number 1. I agree. Ray just got praised and okay, okay, he's like sorry. <laughs> shaking his legs. <laughs> My top three wouldn't have any imports. I'm not gonna feature. I'm not gonna put imports inside. I'm just gonna put pure Singaporean. Okay, go. Ray number one. Roy number two. Roy. Uh, I think my last one. Uh, wow, it's like in between two person. Eh. You can. It's honorable. It's okay. I allow honorable mentions. I think honorable mentions I have to put. I have to put Diablo in. Diablo, okay, I have thank to you. Put Diablo in. I was looking for Diablo, but okay. Um. Okay, I put two on a row mention. Like I put Diablo and Lousy. Diablo and Lousy. Okay. okay. I thought I put JPL. JPL. Okay. Do you think JPL is still in his prime this season? I think prime or not, it doesn't matter. Mm. Uh, in general, he's a very, he's a very strong. Rome. It's a very good Rome. Uh, I think I'm in the same situation as as um Nick. Um, but in in Nick's situation is he live in JPL shadow. Yes. But in my situation is actually I looked up to JPL for a very long time already. Mm. Ever since um the start when he was playing already mm-hmm. until now, uh, because he's he's pro player. Um, range the years 
the seasons mm. is way longer than mine. So yes. I think I have to put in my top three. I agree. Okay. That's really, really nice to hear. Bray, what about your top three? You have a lot of time to think, uh, Abang. Top three. Okay. <laughs> he put you, eh? Don't need put me, eh? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. I mean, like the... If you want to, I can also include uh, past players. Know, is it present or present? Okay, okay. Um... Can put yourself also. No. <laughs> you say can put yourself. Yeah, okay. Put yourself. Include it if you want. Okay, I think... Uh, Roy. Wow, Roy is in your top lists. Yes. Uh, uh, Diablo. Thank you. Yeah, Diablo. And... Thanks for giving me fan service. I think, I think Lozi. Eh. Lozi. Yes. Eximates are most of them. Because he, I think... I learned a lot from him also. Lah, so, I think he's really good also. Mm. Yeah. A lot of people online were bashing Lozi. Yeah, I know. Do you have anything to say about these deltas? I mean, it's online lah. They can do all the talking they want. You ask them go and play, they cannot play on. It's like that one lah. So, I mean, I have res- a, lot, a lot of respect for Lozi. So, mm. I mean, he also old enough to know that like, all these toxic comments, he should just don't care, ignore lah. Mm. He him himself know he's very good care idea. Yeah. <laughs> But Lozi is good bec- in your list is because of his game knowledge. Yeah. And his shot call also. His shot call. Good lah. Yeah. I see. Okay. But that's something that not a lot of people will ever be able to see. Yeah, because they don't street. understand the game. They don't understand the game well, so they, they share like that. Yeah. Okay. I think they also never really play with Lozi professionally to know where how high is his standard. Hmm. You played against Lozi. Was it really stressful to play against Lozi? I think honestly, uh, in my past experiences, I think fighting Lousy, fighting JPL, and fighting Lucian was one of the top few struggles that I always have. Uh, Because me and myself know that these three rooms, they'll always be one level ahead. Mm. Are better than me, ma. So every time when I have to fight them, right, I always feel like there will be distress in me, mm. um, knowing that I have to play even harder if I fight against them, mm. because they are good, ma. You have to admit they yeah. are good, ma. So, um, yeah, play with them will always be stressful. Will always sweat on. Okay, what do you do in your free time, Derry? Apart from dating. <laughs> wait, do you wait, is your is most of your time spent in dating? Or not, boyfriend duties? Not most of the time lah. Ah. Maybe like one week. One week once or twice that kind. Okay. Um when I in this this phase period now. Uh-huh. Uh NPL period. But my free time, if I got no training or I never play with them, I'll just play my own game. Oh. What game? Some PC game or some <laughs> PC game or something. It's okay. I think I know where it is. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. That's my free time. Oh. So just basically play games during your free time. Mm. If I got free time, if I don't have free time, then... It also, it also depends whether I'm tired or not. If I'm tired, then... Sleep. Sleep. Ah. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. Ray, what about you? What do you do during your free time? If you're not playing ML at all? <laughs> you guys have no hobbies. Huh? Belleron. I always free guns, yeah, like, <laughs> I always free right now. Uh, if I not play ML, then I just watch, watch show. Or what show? What, ki- what shows are you into recently? Not those type of show lah, you- YouTube <laughs> show lah. Huh? YouTube? Oh, YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube show lah. Like, YouTube show. Free time also play Valorant. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, all those lah, like, random, random video all lah. Random videos, okay, okay, I understand. Okay, um, do you have anything else to say for your fans, especially this season, for you, right? Um, I just hope that the RIC fans don't give up on us because it's, they saw the roster change, like mm. there's no Diablo, there's no, might not have me or what. I just hope that they still continue to support RIC because, I mean, overall I still 
am helping the team, so it doesn't mean the lineup change means it's gonna be very bad for the team or what. But mm. I just hope that they continue to support us and believe in us. Yes, have some faith in us that we can still go to the finals. Yes. Okay, Derry, the str- the pressure of being able to go to the finals this time rests on you in a sense, because you see, you probably saw Bleed's roster, you probably saw other teams' roster. Do you have anything else to say to your well? You are RG now. What do you have anything to say to your new fans in a sense? I think I'm quite new. Uh, I'm definitely new to RG. Um, I know that RSG has a very strong fan base. Um, I just hope y'all don't blame me or bash me if I do anything wrong. That's all I hope. <laughs> I hope y'all do continue supporting RSG, uh, Ray Wise, Roy Wise, um, for the rest of the roster. Mm. Like, especially like those already from RSG. Previous seasons already. When like I say like CS, closer, mm. none of these, y'all do continue to support them. Um, just hopefully don't give up on us, Kennedy. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Derry and Bray. And that concludes our interview. Thank you very much. Thank you.